Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram if it works. Joking aside, at AIH underscore sports. Alrighty, so I wanted to go back into UFC sports cards, and Golden Auction had an auction, or when their auctions ended on Sunday, I believe. And it was Saturday and Sunday where a bunch of items were being sold left and right. And I'm looking at the UFC data. And some of these cards, they're just phenomenal, the prices that they're landing at. And I'm going to incorporate some of these uh, cards in this video. But I'm just going to look at a few. So there's a 2021 Panini Select UFC Gold Prism number 40 Conor McGregor PSA 10, right? This is a 2021, and also McGregor hasn't been doing as hot as usual. I mean, he lost against Poirier, and there's a population of one. That card sold for 4,800 bucks. It's a 2021. That's not even his rookie card. And another 2021 card uh, was a Panini Select UFC Signatures Black Disco Prism Khabib. And it's signed. It's PSA 10. It's one out of one. And that card went for $24,000. That's right. $24,000. It's a 2021 card. Yes, it's auto. Yes, there's a low population size. Now... If you look at that, that's phenomenal for whoever got that card and they slabbed it up through PSA, sent it to Golden, and it's a huge winner. Uh, some other cards out there that tend to be good, or there was another one for Khabib, 2014 UFC Bloodlines Autograph Relics signed rookie card. And it's a PSA 8. It's numbered 54 out of 175. And it's population 2. None are graded higher. It's sold for $3,000. It's a 2014 card and it's signed. And here's just a tidbit about some of these cards. They were from... They weren't from his rookie years, these cards. They're from after... I believe Khabib's technical rookie year. for a UFC card was 2012. 2013, there tend to be a lot more cards for Khabib. But we're just seeing that. And let's get this straight. Dana White and a few others consider John Jones to be the GOAT of the sport, okay? And I'm not seeing too many John Jones cards out there. And I showed you a video last week where I bought a John Jones card because I believe John Jones cards will go up in value and there's a low population size. So I'm just looking at UFC and I'm just seeing a huge opportunity just based on these sales. What if you have a older card of the top two fighters, top two or top two or three fighters? They're obviously John Jones and then Khabib. And then there could be a few others as well for the top fighters of all time in UFC history. And if 2021 cards are selling for this amount of money, and I believe some Conor McGregor sold for $40,000 on a golden auctions, what about their rookie cards? What if they're signed? And if they're not signed, what would a PSA 10 of a very scarce card, what would the cost of that card be? That's what I'm really interested in. And I'm just looking at the 21, 2021 card of Khabib. If it's signed and low population, then I want to look at cards of somebody like John Jones from maybe 2010. If it's on a discount and if it's not graded, I could take the risk and send it out for a grade or I could try to find a PSA 10 or a high grade card and go from there. And if it's a low pop size, I believe there's so much opportunity for UFC. Even I've been talking about the market crashing in a few years. 
I'm still looking at cars that I could hold onto during the crash and come out of the crash and say, okay, these cars will still go higher. There's going to be most likely UBI. That will propel the card market and will propel UFC in my opinion. So the next decade, I see a lot of opportunity for UFC and not many people are touching this. You may see uh, sports cards, I think Investor, I forget, with Jeff Wilson, whatever his YouTube channel is. He talked about UFC, I believe, earlier this year. There are a few others looking into it, but no one really talks about UFC. And I, I'm i also looking at the fact that UFC under Dana White is still going to be popular. If another leader, uh, for instance, like an Adam Silver type or the guy running the NFL, if you have guys like that running UFC, then I wouldn't be as bullish. But Dana White... He's very inclusive, inclusive in the sense that he lets their players express themselves politically. Both sides of the aisle can say whatever they want. Obviously, uh, it hurts them, like I've mentioned before, with Conor McGregor running his mouth like a clown at times. But it overall is a good business model. And Dana White doesn't really talk about his politics. So just putting that aside, this is a market that I want to look into. And these are from the Golden Auction 2021 cards. I want to look at cards prior to. And if they're auto and high grade and they're scarce, low pop count, there's potentially a lot of money in this decade to come. And it should be quite interesting. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think about UFC. I know a lot of people still don't invest in UFC cards. I get it. This is a card market that many people don't look into but anyways guys let me know what you think smash the like button subscribe if you haven't and comment down below guys thanks bye